So this is a quick inbox review of the Azure Volti V1A um, bomber in 172nd scale, which uh, was used by the Spanish Republican um, Air Force. It says a, a rebuilt Republican bomber, so I expect they probably did um, a slight conversion to a different engine or something that made uh, sense whilst in Spain. So looking at the instructions, um, there's a nice little write-up here. This is in English, and um, you've also got Czech, uh, German and French and then typical from Azure here so you've got the uh, black and white instructions running through uh, the build so there's a parts breakdown there just a few parts that aren't going to be used in this one and then straight in uh, start building up the interior so you've got a cockpit section and also a um, interior part which has uh, seating because this is a civilian aircraft although it was used as a bomber in this instance but it's uh, designed as a civilian aircraft and then straight away the fuselage halves are together, we're putting on the horizontal stabilizers and the underwing is going together made up of, um, the main wing, sorry, is going together made up with um, two parts to make up the upper part of that wing. Then there's uh, two options here for uh, canopies which we'll look at in a minute when we get into the build, uh, get into the um, kit and then there's a little um, and then we've got a uh, little machine gun um, area here, sort of turret in the top, uh, just behind the cockpit, which comes on, and then you start making up the engine, which the cowling is in two pieces there, then the undercarriage, um, and a few other small parts with exhaust, and I think that completes the build. Just a couple more um, small parts there going on at the end. And we've got one marking op two marking options. So we've got the first one here is the camouflage pattern, which is quite impressive. Uh, which is um, the modified bomber Grupo 72 Spanish Republican Air Force 1937 and that is um, uh, that is a dark green overall with uh, desert yellow uh, spots marking all the way across it with middle blue underneath and red um, air recognition markings there um, on the with a fuselage band and wingtips. Then over the other side there's a uh, more general version which is just dark green if you don't fancy the camouflage with the red ring tips and the band around the fuselage and the blue on the underside. And this is a modern uh, modified bomber uh, and it says here probably Grupo 72 of the Spanish Republican Air Force 1938. So getting into the bag, all the kit pieces are supplied in one bag. Typical as your fashion here, so the resin parts um, and decals are put into separate bags. We've got some clear parts there for the side windows, which are just loose. So we've got two sprues, starting with this sprue is the uh, main wing. So you've got one piece for the underside with the two um, with the top side split into two, a few bits, a uh, few wheels and pieces for the undercarriage and the rear horizontal stabilizers. Um, Fine recessed panel lines right the way across here, which are very nice. Um, no rivet detail or anything like that. Probably don't need it in this scale, if there was any. Um, and uh, yeah, very nice, very smooth. Looks quite good. There are prominent ejector pin marks on the um, underside here, which will need to be removed, I expect, to get a nice flush fit with the top of the wing. So typical stuff again with special hobby. Um, so yeah, no problem with that sprue. And then the next sprue here is the two fuselage halves. Again, very fine recessed panel lines. Um, no interior detail, but that's to be expected with um, Azure kits. They usually just detail on one side. Um, there's the interior floor here, which is uh, where the chairs are going to go for the passengers. And then you've got the cockpit floor up here with uh, two parts for the seats again. And a uh, rear wall with a door there. Uh, I think that makes up the back of the cockpit section. The seats have quite nice um, recessed uh, recessed detail there to give uh, uh, an impression of cushions. There is um, one piece engine there with quite nice cylinder um, detail. It's um, not too bad. Uh, and an instrument panel which is a little bit vague to be honest. It's just a, 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 the shape with um, depressed parts in it, there's no detail at all there. And that makes up the plastic parts. 
So this being an Azure kit, you usually get some sort of um, aftermarket material in it, be it uh, photo etch, resin, or vac form. And we've got resin and vac form here. And the resin, if I can get it out of the bag, caters for a few of the finer parts. So there's a couple of uh, steering wheels there, um, presumably for the cockpit. There's an uh, antenna, circular antenna there for the um, fuselage and a couple exhaust pipes there. So that's quite nice. And then um, we've got a piece of vac form canopy. So um, maybe a little problematic if you're not used to this. There is no other alternative, so you do have to use these uh, vac forms. Um, but it's very nice, it's moulded in there and it gives you an idea, um, quite a definite sort of impression as to where to cut that. And the section runs from right the way across there, so um, all this is one piece, so you should be able to bring it in flush with the fuselage, because there is a part there which is a fuselage section, so it should um, join in quite nicely. It's an interesting shape to the canopy here, it sort of inverts, so it's like that, um, and then the fuselage goes on. So yeah, very nice, very clear. Um, shouldn't be a problem, you just got to take your time with that. You've got two, I think one, I think they are slightly different shapes. I think one is for um, an open position and one's not, but I can't quite see the difference yet. I'd have, I think once you're actually into the build you'd get a reasonable idea of that. But I think you've got, you know, they, they look very similar so you could probably make, um, uh, have a backup here if you do mess one up, you could use the other one. I can't see much of a glaring difference there. but. Um, like I say, you just have to look at that if you come to build it. And then we've got the decals here, which give you the Republican markings for the fin. Um, two small markings there for the propeller blade, and um, one of the alternative markings in the um, kit comes with uh, with the serial number on the side of the fuselage. All very nicely printed, don't look to be um, too much of a problem, and very much in register, so that's quite nice. I've used um, Azure decals, Quite, quite often. I've built a few of their kits. I haven't found any problems whatsoever. They're usually very thin and conform really nicely. So that is the Azure Volti V1A Spanish rebuilt Republican bomber, 170 second scale. Um, this is Azure boxing number A038. Um, quite an unusual kit. Uh, don't expect to be picking one of these up um, anywhere other than sort of uh, model shows or possibly on eBay but bear in mind I've just seen one go um, today actually which sold for £35 so um, it does seem to be a reasonably rare kit these days <laughs> I picked this up at Telford uh, 2017 for £6 so that's obviously quite a bargain um, in my view model kits are designed to be built so um, I shan't be selling this on and um, I'm perfectly happy to open it up, show you guys what's going on in here and um, more to the point, actually build it. So I hope you enjoyed looking at that one, something a little bit different and that is the um, a lovely kit from Azure.